Yeah, welcome back to our COP28 special on the first day uh, of COP28. A couple of weeks of conversations going on across the city. And one of those conversations will, of course, be our commitment to net zero. Again, one of those phrases we throw around at the moment. And do we really understand it? How do you contribute to being more net zero? Or is that something that big companies and governments should be paying more attention to? Well, one organisation that can help uh, is, of course, Black Lane, international brand now set up here in the Middle East. Uh, and their general manager is Nicola Sukai, who joins us now live in studio. Nicola, great to see you as always. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Black Lane. Chauffeur-driven cars, right. um, a concept that's been around for quite some time. I, I, I say chauffeur-driven cars, it's a bit more than that, the Black Lane offering, as we will find out very shortly. But what's the difference in such a competitive market, such as ride-sharing and chauffeur-driven? How do you sort of set yourself apart? Yeah, we set ourselves apart in multiple ways, actually. I mean, the, the first thing, uh, specifically here in Dubai, is that we operate a full electric fleet, mm -hmm. right? So. Um, our cars, it's a luxury fleet. So we, when you look at the chauffeur industry or how we remember it or how we imagine it, right? The black car service. So we're all about that at Black Lane, um, but we're also all about sustainability. And so, you know, our cars are beautiful Mercedes-Benz EQS uh, yeah. electric cars. And, um, and yeah, and we, you know, move people around the city in a way that is sustainable. And that model is the same all over the world, is it? Or is that unique to this region? No, it's very unique to this region. Black Lane has been around for well, more than 10 years now, yep. 2011. And we started as a chauffeur service for airport transfers. And we've served customers for, for all those years. Um, we've been carbon neutral as a company. So sustainability has always been part of our DNA. Um, but obviously as a mobility uh, company, we're also part of the problem and we yeah. recognize that and, and we need to reduce uh, our carbon emission not just by offsetting the car, the, the, you know, the, the carbon, but it's also emitting less carbon. And for us, um, Dubai specifically was the launch market for a full electric fleet. While we're expanding our electric fleet, electric fleet in other markets, um, Dubai was the launch market for a, a chauffeur hailing, what we call an on-demand service, so you can book Black Lane you know, anytime you want, last minute, which um, historically has been a pre-booked service for Black Lane. And then, uh, and yeah, and then it's uh, fully electric. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about that expansion, Nick, because I've been seeing you all over the place. I saw you at the Identity Awards. I saw you at the Museum of the Future for the Dubai uh, Future Forum. And now you're here on the show, of course. What are you hoping to see in the UAE when it comes to Black Lane? Well, I think, I mean, first of all, the UAE is such a great place to innovate. We, we see it all, all around us, right? This, this city is, is really at the forefront of innovation. And for us to decide, for a German company, Berlin-based, to decide to launch their new shiny product in the UAE is also a testament of what this city represents and, 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 um, and why this is, you know, why it's such the right place for us to do so. So um, we're super excited. I mean, we're investing a lot, we, uh, but we've grown also a lot, right? So um, we took a lot of big bets, right? And when you say full electric, people say you're crazy. How are you going to charge the car? So we had to build our infrastructure for that. But when you say a chauffeur service, then we talk about you know the chauffeurs themselves. And so we had to build an academy, and we had to build a lot of things around you know the service that then our guests experience. And um, so yes, we have, some people call this crazy, but but at the end, it's we're growing crazy. People love the product. The, this market is really ready for a sustainable solution and, and people want it. So. Um, I was going to ask you, Nicholas, because one of the things that really impressed me when I was um, looking at Black Lane was uh, the number of uh, women drivers that you have as well. Because yes. we all know that women drivers are infinitely superior. Um, better, yeah. But um, it was, it's great to see that you're, you're bringing in women and giving those, yes. um, them the opportunities too. The other question that I had for you was around tyre usage as well because of course electric vehicles is one thing and um, uh, I think it was at the Earthshot Awards last week in Singapore um, that they were talking about the Enzo uh, tyres um, because um, uh, as tyres go around they degrade um, and that is causing infinite amounts of plastic pollution so I didn't know whether you guys had explored that as yet. So on the, fe on the female chauffeur um, I think you know sustainability is not just about your carbon emission or how you pollute it right it's about ESG, having ESG goals as a company and diversity is obviously very important for us. Um, and yes, we've we took also another bet to say, well, you know, we want um, diversity within our within our, our chauffeurs and, and our crew. And so we have 50% uh, female chauffeurs today at Black Lane. Um, 
we're super proud of it. And to your point, they're the best. You know, what our customers <laughs> are telling you is that they actually, you know, um, really to some extent prefer our, our, our female chauffeur crew. Mm -hmm. So nothing bad about our male chauffeur crew. Obviously, <laughs> no, but, but it's uh, no, but it's it's been a, it's again it's it's been a, a, a you know a bet that we've taken that really paid off and and they're amazing. I, I you know I really hope you you mm. you you've tried the service soon because they they're, they're just an incredible incredible um, a crew that we have around us. To your point on the tires, I think. Um, Electrification is not perfect in many ways, and, and tires is actually a, a point that we always look into because the cars are heavier, right? The, we tend to actually um, use um, um, more tires than what a, a petrol car would have. Yeah. It's not significantly more, but I would say your tires would run out 10, 15% faster than a, than a, than a um, uh, combustion engine vehicles. Now, it's all about when you, when we use more tires, you know, safety for our guests is very important. So the idea is not to <laughs> keep the tires longer longer than you know than we should. So it's all about then how do we you know recycle um, our tires. And so everything that we have in our cars or everything that we utilize as a business, we look at you know um, recycling opportunities and and how we can um, you know continuously improve you know uh, our um, you know our impact on the environment. Uh, Nicholas, I wanted to ask you about the spike. Do you see a spike in consumers in the region that are taking sustainable uh, cars? So we're a new product. We're the new exciting product, I would say, in the, in the region. So at least what we've experienced is tremendous growth. So yeah. we've uh, grown our fleet 10x uh, okay. since, uh, since, we, uh, since we launched in March. So we're very young, right, as yeah. a company. Uh, we've won quite a few awards in such a short okay. period of time. So it's, it's all a bit overwhelming. Yes. Um, but uh, yes, to your point, I think the people want something different, right? And whether it's luxury, whether it's the quality of the service, whether it's uh, feeling safe and secured, uh, reclaiming their time, you know, all those things matter, right? Mm -hmm. and, um, and so yes, people love our product for all the things that we offer, uh, that we're able to offer to our guests. Yeah. That is well, Nick, it's amazing work that you're doing and thank you so much for being on the show. But before you jump in your electric SUV, which I saw outside, <laughs> it's time to put Ahmed and Amber in the hot seat with DXB Amber. in 60. We've got something called DXB in 60. And I'm just going to ask you a couple of questions. Okay. And you just have to answer them whichever way you want. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so we're, I'm going to cue the clock in three, two, one. If you weren't an environmentalist, what kind of industry would you be working in? Oh gosh, see I would immediately say marine conservation, but I guess that kind of still makes me an environmentalist. Yeah, somehow. <laughs> oh, one thing you cannot live without? My dogs. Oh, that's cute. Your motto in life and work? Oh, it's less a motto, it's more something that I do. Yeah. When I wake up in the morning, the first thing I do is make my bed. Okay, because nice. then I feel prepared for my day. Yeah. If I start with that, then everything seems to pan out all right-ish. Okay, that is true. And what, is, what was your first job? I was a chef. Oh. I love food. <laughs> and do you have any hidden gems in Dubai? Oh my gosh, so many. Uh, do you know what I really enjoyed? I went and visited the um, uh, Candy who runs Pirate Surf on the beach yeah. and yeah. they do all the running around with the kids. Yeah. I wanted to join in, I loved it. Okay, uh, a book you're reading at the moment? Oh, they're always environmental. Um, Rewilding the Sea by Charles Clover. Okay, and why Dubai? Why not? Yeah. <laughs> time is up, thank you very much for your time. Uh, right, can't thank uh, our guests enough. Nick, thanks so much indeed thank for joining you. us. Uh, all the best with uh, all your uh, projects here. And Amber, thank you. Thanks for taking... I know it's a really busy time for you at the moment. So best of luck uh, with the Extreme Hangout and best of luck for COP28 as well. We'll be up there, check it all out. But thank you so much indeed for giving us your time and your insights Pleasure. as well. Well, thank you very much for having me. I hope you'll all come to the Extreme Hangout. Right, still plenty to come. Who fancies a bit of soul this evening? Stay tuned because we've got an artist to play us out a little later on this evening. Hello, we are Brown and Big, and we're super excited to perform at DXB today, so stay tuned.